Hey everybody, it's your pal Mike Zombie, and this week we're going to talk about I Spit on Your Grave from 1978. Not a zombie film, but I don't even think you could argue that this is one of the most talked about famous exploitation horror films of all time. And certainly, I think probably the most famous horror movie poster ever made, where we see from behind a, a woman who's wearing a nightie that's ripped up and shredded and she's got some bruises and some cuts and she's walking with a dagger in her hand, kind of pointed up like she's on the hunt. If you were in any video store in the 80s, you saw this for sure on the wall. I know I did. Now, I first saw this film. This is going to sound fucked up. I first saw this film, I think, when I was probably, I don't know, maybe 11, 11, 10, 11, 12, somewhere in there. My mother rented horror movies for me by the armful and brought them home and let me watch them. And this is probably one that I shouldn't have seen. <laughs> it's getting 5.5 stars on IMDb out of 10 from almost 13,000 people. And I'm going to say, as for me, I would probably put a little less. Now, I had, I had rewatched this the other night, and I had not seen it since I was a boy. And it was really crazy when I saw it then. And watching it now, to me, it doesn't at least have the same impact that it did on me then. The story says, the synopsis here at IMDb. See, I'm trying to pull, I'm harnessing McPierce and just reading f actual facts for you <laughs> instead of just my own crap. It says an aspiring writer is repeatedly gang raped, humiliated, and left for dead by four men who she systematically hunts down to seek revenge. Yeah, and that sums up the movie. This movie, other than being a vengeance film really doesn't have much plot to it jennifer is the author her name is camille keaton she's just gonna take some time off go to a cabin in the woods and write her novel and she just happens upon some of the townsfolk of course they're just the shitty redneck assholes i'm sorry three of them which are and then a, a sped <laughs> i hate to call them retards people look so i call them sped which is just fucking special ed rammed together now, I'm assuming you've seen this film. After the local dickheads see her at the gas station on her way, the sped guy on the bike shows up to deliver her groceries, says, hi, will you be my friend? And goes back and tells the other assholes. And they just seek her out. And it's just, this is going to sound weird because the subject is, is, a, is something you really shouldn't joke about. But And I'm not joking. The whole purpose of this film is they, they stalk her in the woods and every time they see her in, in the span of a very brief, like, couple of hours, they beat her up and rape her. And these four guys take turns raping her. And when I saw it when I was young and had not had sex, because I was 11, I was jerking off like a fucking madman, but I'd never had sex. I didn't know that the rape scenes looked so unsexual. It doesn't even look like they're having sex. And I don't know if that was just done... <laughs> It was just done clumsily. The guy gets on top oh, and bounces up and down unrealistically, thrusting as if he's trying to knock down a wall. But the editing is so shitty, as he, soon as he stands up, you see his fucking dick is shrunk up like a stack of fucking dimes. So editing could have helped, but overselling the fact that you're thrusting into a woman who's screaming and writhing. But watching it now, it just looks silly. And there were plenty of violent gory movies back then there was plenty of porn back then i don't see why since you are making a movie that you were going to have a real hard time selling anyway or putting out to people well, why not be true to the fucking vision so they find her in the woods start raping her she runs a little while they catch her another guy rapes her and this goes on and on all the way back to her house and they just keep raping her and beating the, and beating the shit out of her i mean the beatings look more realistic than the rapes and and not not to complain, I'm not saying I wanted to see a more realistic rape. No, that's not, not it. But it's so exaggerated that I watched it now and I'm like, well, that just looks stupid. <laughs> what the fuck? So the guys go back into town thinking that they talked the sped into stabbing her. They thought, well, we'll just have this guy go in with a knife and kill her. And eventually somebody will find her body at this rented cabin. And we'll just pretend we don't know anything about it. And this is back before DNA testing was all the rage. So maybe, maybe this was something you thought you could do. And the sped doesn't kill her because he likes her too much. And he just goes back and says that he did. And so she 
once her wounds heal, or her physical wounds or mental wounds are never going to heal, she goes around and just follows these guys and tricks them into following her, and she kills them. And it's not even gory, uh, with the exception of the guy whose dick she cut off. But what bugged me about this film is instead of just showing it, because she's got a gun, instead of rolling up, what's up, fucker? Boom, shooting him right in the face. Ta-da, one down. No, it's the, hey, I've changed my mind. The other day when you raped me in the ass, God, I want some more of that. Really hope Daryl doesn't isolate that for a promo. And if he does, no homo. Yay. So so she tricks them, seducing them to wherever she wants to kill them and kills them. She hangs the fucking retard over the water. After she, <laughs> this is what kills me. She lets, she's like, he's got a knife. I'm going to kill him. She goes, no, no, you want to fuck me. And she lays there and lets, lets him fuck her. And he and she and he and he finally comes. That's the big deal. The guys are teasing because he can't come because he's a retard. Apparently, apparently they've never heard about retards. They'll, they'll come at the fucking mall. They don't give a shit. And she lets him fully have sex with her, and then she hangs him right there on the scene. Way to reward him and then kill him by using your body again. And that's what I don't get about this. And then the next guy and the next guy, and she ends up taking one of them home, puts him in a warm bath, and starts uh, jerking him off under the suds and then cuts his dick off. And it takes him like a minute to realize his dick has been cut off. He's like, ooh, you're being crazy. You're being crazy. And she gets up and walks away, and he's like, man, this is really hot. How come there's blood all over the place? Oh, my God, where's my dick? (laughs) You know? And I'm like, uh, boo. So, and this just goes on and on and on. And uh, she kills another guy in the river with an axe in his back. That was probably the, the best kill she did because at least you saw the axe going into the skin of whatever it was, and at least it was a bit of action. And the other guy, she chopped him up with a boat motor. You just don't see anything, but it's, it's implied that he's all hacked up. And then it just ends. So while I know some people love this film and they're like, wow, this is, this is great, I... I think there was a big if you're if you're looking for revenge and street justice, I'm actually a bigger fan of Savage Streets. I mean, at least in Savage Streets, you get a whole bunch of topless Linda Blair, which is really, really nice. Just saying. Oh, and um, and speaking of which, a, a rape. Linnea Quigley gets raped, and she's like a she's also kind of not a sped, but she's like deaf and some other shit. So I fuck yeah she's that's it she's deaf I forget it's been a while came out in eighty four give me a break and, and I know this film is on some people's number one list and I've and to be fair I've not seen the the remake in twenty ten and apparently there is like a bonus executive version of the original film I guess there's extra rapage <laughs> and I'm not gonna seek it out the film itself to me. While a shocker when I was 11 now is very bland and very predictable and just really forced. But it's got a, it's got a halfway decent rating. And I I mean, for its time, I maybe it was shocking. But when this was made, I was five. So maybe things back then were a little crazier. And, and this and I'd have to look and see how many films like this were made back then. So maybe this was shocking. But now it just seems real bland. And it's a shame because this week at the Monster Palooza convention in Burbank that I'm going to. Camille Keaton, the star of this film, is appearing on Sunday. And this is where they've staggered guests over Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And not everybody's doing every day. And I'm going to meet Ace Fraley from Kiss. That's my number one. Second, I have to choose between Dave Brocky, a.k.a. Odorous Urungus from Guar. He'll be there signing for Holliston on Saturday. And I've got a really nice uh, partially signed Guar lithograph. Um, with Beefcake, uh, KCR, and Slimenstra, Danielle Stamp. I've already signed it, and I can either go and have Odorous from Guar sign my Guar poster, or go uh, that Saturday, or go Sunday and have Camille sign and I spit on your grave poster. And to be honest, because I'm not going to pay to go see the same shit twice. And to be honest, I was going to go Sunday and see Camille, but after rewatching this film, I'm going to go Saturday and see uh, Dave Brocky from Guar instead. This movie just honestly to me does not hold up, and if you disagree, I can understand. This is a very, very popular film, but to me it just doesn't hold up, though I do like very much how it was shot. I mean, I'm a sucker for anything 70s, 80s horror, especially like late 70s, early 80s. Love it. I think the visually they, they're all very pleasing to my eyes, but 
this this just does not hold up for me. So and on the Brodinsky scale, this weighs, oh, two pounds, five ounces. That's a whole lot of vengeance for a whole lot of rape. I don't know. This would be a borrow. I think everybody probably should see it simply because it is such a, a, a beloved film. Um, I, I don't think this is a buy. I really don't. Unless you get some special edition. I do see, I'm looking, I see a special edition with a bunch of other features. and But ba based on itself, just what it was, I don't, I don't consider this a buy. All right, guys. See ya.